Hello, my name's Niall and welcome to another episode of Instructor 101 for outdoor instructors that want to make an even bigger impact on those that they work with. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content, tips, tricks, ideas, resources and more. So when working with school groups, I'll always ask the teachers what they want to get out of their time whilst I'm working with them. This allows me to give a group focus and also allows me to work out how to provide extra value beyond the kids having a good time. Now, more often than not, when referring to the whole group, the teachers will generally ask for focusing on teamwork and listening skills. Obviously, that's not all the time, but it helps you get an idea. And if you want to watch a quick video that I made about listening skills, then there'll be a link floating just above my head, so make sure to check that out as well. So with those two core focuses in mind, the activity instructor will take their group away, they'll do loads of cool activities with them, whether it's outdoors or indoors, and they'll try and focus on those two separate things. But on occasion, some groups tend to react differently, and at times you might not feel like you're making progress, but instead, you're moving backwards. So at this point, the activity instructor then talks to their colleagues, tries to get a few more ideas, and tries to work out what different techniques that they could try out, which is exactly what they should do. But again, the group might have a different idea, and then still you may go away from it feeling deflated, and you might start just beating yourself up. So what do you do in these situations? Firstly, persevere. It might just take one slight different angle or technique to get the message through. Secondly, remember that humans are complicated things and their behavior is based on loads of different things and there's a history behind all of this. Now, I'm no expert on human behavior, but what I do know is that there are lots of different things that can impact on that. Things like culture, genetics, environmental behaviours, internal dialogue, all those different things will have had an impact and over a long period of time, it was, you know, it's going to stick. So we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves for trying to make what can be like really dramatic changes in such a short space of time, especially compared to what the history has been on things that have been learnt over years and years. A few days probably isn't enough and might not even be realistic. What we can do as activity instructors though is plant the seed or the idea that maybe these behaviours might not benefit them long term and maybe they could start to address that over a period of time and you've just been the start of that so that later on that idea will develop and they will question that. Now, I've definitely made mistakes with this in the past. And so now I try, although easier said than done, I try to remember that, you know what, there's only so much that I can do and I shouldn't beat myself up. However, that won't stop me from persevering and trying different approaches to see if I can get that message through. But it's also worth noting that the group or the individuals involved have a part to play in this as well. So the next time you're working with a group and they're maybe not moving in the right direction that you hoped, then don't be so hard on yourself. There might be a really well-established history behind these behaviors that can't be undone in just a few sessions. So do you agree with this? Have you or have you ever seen someone beat themselves up because maybe their target was a little bit too ambitious? Let me know in the comments below. If this video is useful, please remember to like, share, and subscribe by hitting the Instructor 101 logo just by the side of my head. Otherwise, feel free to check out some of my other videos that I've made. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care.